Hello guys, Hatred Elemental back once again with Draco Soda's here. Hello! We are back in Metroid Prime where we were about to go into the Fendrana Drifts. Well, technically we were already in there, but we haven't really explored at all. So, let's go! Metroid Prime Trilogy, loading. Or technically just Metroid Prime. Fendrana, Fendrana Drifts. Drift. There we are. Hello, Samus. It's been a while. You can only be killed with missiles, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. It's just satisfying. Alright, so. We need to. Where do we need I to go? I know where we need to go. Spence. Did we poke around in that little drainage area? Over there? Yeah. I don't think we can do anything there yet. Um. Radeon. Oh! The door directly above has been unlocked. Nice. What do you know? I do know what I'm talking about. You do. But can we get up here? No, we cannot. Believe me, I've tried. What's up here? Why are there not more ice areas in Metroid games? This is beautiful! There was actually going to be one in a fan-made recreation of Metroid 2 called, uh, SR388. We keep bringing up SR388. It's a shame it was cancelled. I liked it so far. Well? Yeah, I'm getting out of there. Scatter Bamboo. Pulsing tendrils of energy extend from creature's body. Like all bamboos, these creatures can only be harmed by electrical energy. Proximity to these life forms may result in electrical visor interference. It is possible to avoid engaging scatter bamboos by rolling into the morph ball and slipping between the rotating energy streams. Ow. I just hope that they don't cross the streams. Don't cross the streams! Oh boy. See you over there. Creature! Shh, baby Shegoth. Glacial Predator. Ice shell protects vulnerable dorsal area. Young Shegoths grow a resilient shell of ice on their backs, which, ser which serves to protect a layer of vulnerable flesh. With this being their only weak point, baby Shegoths will turn quickly in order to not allow predators the opportunity to strike at their backs. Powerful hunters, they fire bursts of ultra-cold gas at potential prey, then feast on their frozen victim. There, there we go. Poink. I didn't hit it. Ow! And these are just the babies! Thankfully, these guys are severely allergic to jumping. I don't think you're using that correctly. Alright, well, they, they don't know how to handle jumping. There you go. Alright, what, what, what can we scan? Scannables! I like that you're spending more time in the scan visor. I appreciate that. Speaks to the lore keeper in me. Speaks to the completionist in me. Well, the completionist in you is a little crazy, but I understand where he's coming from. Scan? No scan. Wait, is that... Alright, there's... 
no reason to go down there. Wow, I just missed both of them. But and I then made you made up for it by hitting both of them. Yep. The ice covering this opening can be melted with extreme heat. We do not have extreme heat yet. Tis a shame. Creature! Ice Burrower! Burrower adapted to sub-freezing climates. A hardy life form, the Ice Burrower has adapted to the frigid clime of Fendrana. It spends most of its time tunneling through the frozen soil, but will occasionally surface to attack passerby. Yep, gah. Frig ah! There, there. Come on. Come on. Oh. Nice. Thank you. Come on. Have at thee. More of the creepy blue stuff. Come on. I'm having at thee. I'm not having at thee very well, but I'm having at thee. There we go. That's a lot. At least when you consider how many there usually are. Oh, uh, one of them's already mad. They really don't like missiles. Confused by the layout of this room. Or, wait, this? That is not the thing. So we can't get up there yet, but we can scan that. Chozo lore. Chozo script translated. As the great poison reaches ever further into the planet, we Chozo begin to feel the gnawings of despair. Before it is too late, we now make our last stand. We have begun to build a temple to contain this darkness. At its heart, we will place a cipher, a mystical lock powered by 12 artifacts and filled with as much power as we Chozo can harness. We wonder though, even when we are done, will it be too late? And will the power of the temple and the cipher itself prove strong enough to hold back the poisonous tide that even now swells within the ground, threatening all life? Grim, but understandable. Yeah, Chozo are kinda. They don't really have a positive outlook on life in this game. Uh, no, in fact, their demeanor is pretty bleak. Aha! Ice, Ice Shriek Bats! bats. We literally. We pretty much only have a couple of chances to scan these guys before they disappear forever. In a boss that we fight later on, after we defeat it, they disappear. 
Ice Encased Ceiling Dweller. Like standard Shriek bats, these creatures are easily spotted with thermal imaging. They roost on cave ceilings, subsisting on insects, reptiles, and small mammals. Fiercely territorial, they will dive bomb anything that wanders near. Kinda like Spence if you get near his tacos. Ha! Oh, yeah, there we go. You just keep your hands and feet away from his mouth. Hey, I'm serious about my tacos. I don't think- I think we actually get to the upper area another way. I don't think we can do anything about it yet, we just have to keep going this way. Ow! I need to get better at dodging these things. Like that? Yeah, like that. Oh. I like this room. Platform realignment successful. Hi. Lock on. Thank you. Scan. Propulsion unit used to make platforms float are insufficient to support full power suit weight indefinitely. This fish appears to be frozen under a sheet of extremely smooth ice. Fish? Yes, oh, wait, Spence, we can just go fish. fish. I didn't know there were fish in Fendrana. Of course there are fish in Fendrana. Of course they're all frozen. New thing. Boost, Boost ball. Boost ball acquired. Memories of the Boost Guardian. <laughs> While on morph ball mode, press and hold B to charge the ball. Release B after charging to get a speed boost. And that's what the half pipes are for. Whoa, righteous dude. You couldn't even do a full pipe. That's for Mario. Alright, now I gotta see these fish. Are they over are there any here? Ooh. See? Wait, is that... Oh, there it is right there. Fish! Huh. That's such an odd detail. Easier to see here. Such an odd detail. But I appreciate it. Now, are you gonna use the boost ball to get us out of here or what? Right. Eh, it was worth a shot. You know, you can kill certain enemies with a boost ball, but not these guys, apparently. Oh, you tried. I just misjudged distance. It happens. You tend to do that a lot in 3D platformers. I do. You can build up some decent height with this thing. Yeah, you can also reach the platform that'll help get us out of this room. Eh. Oh, hi! That's why I was going down here. Chosen Lore! So many creatures suffer beneath the blight upon the land, and we Chozo are no exception. But for all of our pain, we can at least believe in the promise of the future. We have come to believe that a time may never come when we can once again open the door and banish the darkness we've contained. Even so, 
our vigilance will forever remain. We believe that on some far-off day, a savior will come and continue what we have begun. For that savior, we will leave our ancient weapons and armor. The soul who can gather them will be the entrusted one, the only being who can reverse the evil that grows here. I like how they explain why all these things are just lying around. Can I destroy you? But I guess not. Because technically all of these power-ups and items... You could just hop up from the crates. Oh. That is a thing, isn't it? Yeah, because technically all of the stuff that the power suit has, and the power suit itself, that's all Chozo technology. And... It's brilliant. I mean, space pirates can't recreate it. Oh, this is gonna help. <laughs> I say as I get hit anyway. Boost ball is just fun. Hey, maybe now we can screw around in this area. Ha! Stop breaking my lock. All right. Thank you. Don't you feel at least the slightest bit bad that we're technically killing infants? Research. This hanging rock structure appears to have a weak spot near its base. Some stalactites can be dislodged from ceilings, allowing them to be used as platforms to cross otherwise unreachable areas. I think it has a lock on point. Yeah. That can't... we can't reach from here. It's very particular. Wait. Can I? I can! It's not worth it. Besides, there's a wave beam door at the end of all that, and we don't have the wave beam yet. Touche. Moving on. A truly terrifying sight. Ah! I don't think we're supposed to go over there yet. Alright, so where do we go instead? Hmm. See, that is the temple area. I think that's pretty much all we can do for now here. Ah, I'm underwater. Oh, yeah, by the way. Yeah. Back underwater? Yeah. Fish. I saw live fish. Yeah. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about... I'm gonna have to move those things or get another... Or how about the space jump? I was just going to say the space jump. Is that really all we can do here? Apparently. All right. Well, I guess we should work towards getting the space jump. Only problem. It's pretty much right back at the beginning. Yeah, I don't remember how we get the space jump, but... Oh, wait, is it in the Talon overworld? Yes, it is. Huh. Right behind the ship, somewhere. 
Come to think of it, back at the ship there's some more ball things that we can get. Magmore Caverns. There! Sensor thing. It's not working properly. And again, it's old and we're probably a little too close to it. Sniped. Got it! Find the quickest way back to the Talon Overworld, huh? Let's see, that's Vendron Drips, Talon Overworld West. Which I think we can reach. Chosa Ruins North. I don't think we can do much of anything in the to in the Talon Overworld West. Alright, fine, then we'll go to Chozo Ruins. You're the one with the Wii remote. Ow. Alright, one moment. Scooching the sensor back a little bit. Hopefully that will help. We already got we already got all the power ups here. I know. Uh, oh God, the Cheeto dust of doom. I've been Cheetoed. Right way, yes. Awesome, Spence ate pedos. Ah, oh, that '70s show. Enjoy that cookie. <laughs> hey, you but, got one of them. By the, oh, by the way, it's not a cookie at all. If I have to tell you again to just leave that thing alone. Oh hi. We can't reach it yet. Well, we're getting, we're gonna go get the space jump anyway, so... I don't like those things. They explode and they hurt. Explosions tend to hurt. Cheeto. Alright, bird. Upward we must go. I like playing with a morph ball. I can tell. And how certain things interact with it. I also like popping my elbows. Chozo ruins. All right, 
Alright, so we can go three ways. I think the fastest way is straight ahead. Then straight ahead we shall go. Yeah. It's been a while since we've been to the Chozo Ruins. It has. Then again, it's been a while since we've played Metroid Prime, so... I'm a molten ball. That's just fun. Alright. Take that. I like missiles. Remember, we still got to deal with the big boy. Oh, hey. All right, you know what? Let me humor you. Missile expansion! Think. Super missiles. Don't have them yet. Hologram. As soon as we get back to the ship, watch us get like a little signal saying, Hey, you need to go back to Pendrana Drifts. <laughs> if that happens, I'm going to be so pissed. Talon Overworld. <laughs> like, knowing our luck, it'll happen. Hey, we have the boost ball now. We can ride that half pipe. That we, that we do. And that we can. I don't think there's any reason to do so other than like a little shortcut. But you never know. And that's what happens when you spend too much time in morph ball mode. Wait a second. Ow. Is there a thing up there? Stress fractures can be detected throughout the surface of the sandstone wall. Hello! What is this? Hi, Zoomer. Cannot identify light source. No profile matches in standard flora and fauna data bank. Oh, hey! This is exactly where we needed to go! Well, how about that? We can just come right around here. And look! Space, Space jump, jump boots! boots. Perfect!
What do you What do you know, Draco? We know our video games. Space jump boots acquired. Press B to jump. While still in the air, press B again to perform an extra space jump. So, yeah, it's essentially a double jump. Double jumps are awesome. Even if they defy all the laws of physics. Now! <laughs> I've had my eye on this for a while, so... Gimme! Missile expansion acquired. My burps taste like the crust of the pizza we had for dinner. Nobody needs to know that. Like, no one needs to know if you have itchy armpits. What is this? This rock formation blocks most of the tunnel, but there's a small opening near the floor. Oh, hi. Creature. Flying pirate. Pirates trained and equipped for airborne assault. Flying pirates are extremely agile in the air, but the heat signatures of their jetpacks can be tracked with thermal imaging. While their missiles are extremely potent, their jetpacks can be even more so. If their pack fails, they will make a suicide strike. This crate appears to be the same type of a container found on the pirate the space pirate research frigate. The material seeping out from the ruptured metal is highly toxic. Analysis indicates this indicates now this may be the phazon compound the, spice, the space pirates were using in their biological experiments. Spice pirates, sure. It's been a bit since we've had to deal with pirates. They're gone. This is a grapple beam. This lichen seems to be giving off low levels of radiation. No matches found in flora and fauna data bank. Oh god, it's... What were you thinking? I was thinking let's do something interesting. Ever. Well, thankfully we have the space jump now. Yeah, make, that'll make things a little easier. Alright. We can't even get into that area. Nope. Not only do we need the grapple beam, but we also need the ice beam. So it's best to just move on. Uh-huh. So, now that we have the space jump... Shall we make our way back to Fendrana? I guess so. And that means back to the Chosen Ruins. And back to Magmore Caverns. And then we can grab that Chozo artifact. Ow. Damn it! You know that's not the fr You know we're not supposed to get that one first, right? There's an entire cinematic for the one we're supposed to collect first. Alright, alright, I will wait. We're supposed to... Oh no, Th this will do. I will wait to collect that one for you. Deal? I'm not saying you have to, but deal. Hey, for the sake of the cinematic, we're gonna have- we're gonna be passing through that area back and forth multiple times anyway. Yeah. I mean, we'll collect it naturally sometime. Yeah. In all honesty, the part that really bugs me is the fact that you just had to pop it open early. Well, you know, I knew it was there. And you were convinced that you were able to get it despite my shouting at you that we don't have the space jump, therefore we can't get the dang thing yet, so it's completely pointless in the long run! Alright, so what way do we need to go? I uh, can't reach that. Okay. Quickest so... way is through the Hive Totem area, so make a hard left. Uh, 
I wonder. Not as satisfying as I thought it would be. I managed to get hit by rolling into the actual thing itself instead of the laser beam. I'm a special guy. Oh, you're special, all right. Nice try, but no. Yeah, we're well on our way. Yep. I hit B. You're enjoying this new boost ball, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I love the boost ball. You just like going fast, don't you? Yes. Besides, look, it's pretty. The sound it makes is also annoying if you listen to it for long enough. Kind of like the charge shot sound effect in Mega Man. Bink. Downward! Bum bum! Come to think of it, we could have actually gone into the Chozo Temple while we were back there. We have missiles now. Well, we've come too far, we're not turning back now. Yeah. Even though it would kind of solve the problem of... Yeah, getting the Chozo Artifact. Oh. We're already three quarters of the way there, alright? Yeah. Look, it's gonna bug me too, but... At least now I have the opportunity to relentlessly torment you for your poor decisions. You do that anyway. Isn't that kind of my job? Yeah. Well, you tried, champ. Yep. Do or do not, there is no try. I swear! Swear or swear not? to go for that one last Triclops, didn't you? You were good! play through the entirety of Metroid Prime in the more fall mode, would you? Oh, that's a tricky question. Missiles have a slight homing effect. Only when locked on, though. Still, though. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. 
Okay. Scans! Collapsible suspension bridge is functional but requires power. And? Research! This is a standard spinner device. The generator belts of the spinner can be activated by rapid rotational force. Use the boost ability of the morph ball when inside a spinner to activate the device. I think that I think that just leads to another artifact. I know it does, but we might as well explore, you know, since we're here. Besides, I don't think we can get can we get the artifact itself without the plasma beam, or is that another thing entirely? Whatever. Chozo sat your room! There we are. Like they did in the good old days. Bandesium portion of area is unstable. Chozo artifact. There we go. Seriously, though, all that's missing is the item room music. We'll get it later. Why did they not put the item room music in here? triggering so many people. But that's alright. I wonder, can you use this in here? No, you cannot. You're probably triggering yourself, and that's what's giving me satisfaction. Wait, can you? <laughs> you can, but it just makes you spin. Yeah, look how much I'm enjoying this. Nah. Fendrana drifts. Some of my favorite sectors in Metroid games are the Chozo areas. Oh yeah. I just find that they really speak to me on a personal level. So. Let's see what all we can do about this part, eh? Now that we have the space jump, we can get up here. This Cordite. Cordite wall hanging is worn and weathered. Yep, can't do anything but go inside. Hi. Oh yeah, there's a reason we should be here. A statue depicting a Chozo balancing the plane of existence on his hands. Crystallite. Just listen to that music. Ice, Ice parasite. parasite. Scavenger with a crystalline outer shell. Parasites are hurt. Why did that do that? Parasites are hardy creatures, able to adapt to any environment within three generations. The ice parasite is a prime example. Having adjusted to a frigid climate, this vermin now thrives in it. Omnivorous, it can exist in areas hostile to most life forms. Ow. Thanks for the boost, but ow. Ow, again. This is a statue depicting the bust of a Chozo philosopher. This statue is flawless. This is a statue depicting the bust of a Chozo warrior. This statue is flawless. This is a statue depicting the bust of a Chozo shaman. Several stress fractures can be seen running along the surface of this brimstone object. This is a statue depicting the bust of a Chozo architect. This statue is flawless. The statue's hands seem to be frozen in place. There appears to be a shell of ice encasing a water basin. The water originated from the statue's mouth. A statue depicting the bust of a Chozo shaman adorns this door. A symbol is carved into its forehead. The translation reads, To pass my gaze, seek my twin within this room. Oh. 
Boom! The Tozo really did love their riddles. I can appreciate that. And there we go. It is now open. Any more cannibals? No. No more cannibals. But we do have Morphal! Oh, I know what we need to do. Come on. Wave beam. Gimme. Except not Waldo. quite. Instead, have some she gods or baby she gods. I want to get that close. Reminds me of your dog. There we go. That should be it, right? Um, yeah, those were just the babies. We woke the mama. And said mama is pissed. Creature. She, she got. got. Supreme, Supreme predator, predator of the Fendrana Drifts. She gots are invulnerable to most beam weapons. The crystals on their back absorb energy, which they can fire at prey. She gots have poor stamina. They hyperventilate after using their breath attack, making their mouth area vulnerable. The soft underbelly of a Shegoth is susceptible to concussive blasts. In battle, they expel blasts of frigid gas to ensnare their targets. They are also fond of ramming and trampling their hapless prey. Just wait for it to hyperventilate and spam it with missiles. Pretty straightforward. Come on. Wait, need me to shoot you some more? Huh? We can also use bombs if we wanted to. RIP. Research! Missile ammunition. She got defeated. We got a thing. So. Wave beam! Cannon! We've got a new beam! It's about time. Oi! Mm. Wave, Wave beam acquired! Beam acquired. My favorite beam in the game. Look at it! It's cool and it can track opponents that it's locked that, that you lock onto. It's cool! I love it! Oh wait, the, the you're you're already taken care of. Good. Plus It can destroy these things. Oof. The 
look at this thing, isn't it badass? I mean, the plasma beam is alright, but... You can't deny the raw awesomeness that is the wave beam. Oh. Also, a fun thing about the ice beam. Yeah. It can stun your targets. But wave beam, you mean? Yeah, wave beam, whatever. Look, there's ice all around. You can understand my confusion. Yeah. <laughs> Still can't do anything about those guys though. Nah, missiles works missiles work on those guys. But anyway, now that we're here and we've gotten the wave beam, I think that's a good time to end the episode. So with that, this is Hatred Elemental and Draco so to Zero signing out. We hope that you guys enjoyed and we will see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye guys. <laughs>